Hey guys, so this is going to be a review of tonight's episode of Teen Wolf. If you have not seen it, I should just leave now because I'm about talking about spoilers. And the spoilers are going to start now. So I feel like we met a lot of new characters tonight, even though I think we only really met like two characters technically, but I feel like I feel like it was a lot. It was a lot of characters. Um, so first of all, we met Hayden, which is, I guess Liam did something to her back in like the sixth grade and kind of pissed her off and she left for Rungeons now. I kind of like her, <laughs> just a little. Uh, she gave me like kind of like early Lydia vibes and kind of like what I figured like Brayden was like, or like Brayden's like maybe I don't know. Uh, but I like her. I kind of I kind of want to see where they're gonna take her. Uh, we also met Tracy, which uh, she is pretty interesting. She has night terrors, but I guess maybe. She obviously, at the end, we found out that in Dread Doctors, she's one of the experiments, and she's now a, I guess, a werewolf, or as Deaton said, I guess they're harpies, or maybe every experiment's different, so I don't really know if, I'm assuming she's a werewolf <laughs> currently, because we really don't know, but, uh, her storyline, they're just like, I, again, I really like her, I instantly liked her, which is saying something, because it's certainly like, two seasons, or has, have we had her for two seasons already? Or like a season and a half to like Malia, and like instantly I liked Tracy. So, I like Tracy. Uh, I, I kind of, I, I'm excited to see what they do with her. Uh, I don't, I don't know, I'm excited. I don't know. I like her though. She kind, she kind of reminds me of Allison a little bit, but I like her. Uh, moving on to Malia. Okay, I like Malia, okay? I like her bluntness. I love the part where she's like, I can torture him for you. I, I kind of like that part. I do like her, and I just, I think the thing is I don't like her with styles. I feel like they're both very, like, blunt to the point kind of people, and I just feel like they just don't mesh well. Like, two of the same type of people, just, they just don't mesh well together. But... That being said, I liked her scenes. I, I like Malia, okay? Her car, the car, the scene of the car was pretty funny. Until, like, it went into, like, a trigger and then, like, she apparently maybe has PTSD or something and, yeah. But, I guess given Malia a character. But the part where she said, like, that her, uh, not to trust Thea, which... <laughs> Styles was so fucking great, oh my god. Not to trust Theo because his parents might be psychotic. I mean, and then she even said it that her parents are the Desert Wolf and Peter Hale. Like, obviously, does that mean we can't trust Theo? Which, again, if you've watched my reviews for any long, long time, you know that I have never trusted Malia. I just, I've gotten used to her character and I like her, but I, I still don't like overly trust her. But I'm trying, even though I think it's just, it's not going to go well. I don't trust her. She's just going to lead to bad stuff happening, probably, but whatever. Uh, I think I'll save Theo for last, because Theo's the main topic. Uh, Mason! Mason's back! I love Mason. I, like, instantly loved Mason when he was first introduced, and I'm so happy to see him back with, uh... Liam? I cannot remember his name. Uh, but yeah, I love the Mason-Liam friendship, and I'm so glad that Mason now is, or knows that Liam's a werewolf, and I think uh, Mason has like some type of like sort of bestiary that he found has berserkers, and I'm not even going to pronounce what the temple in Mexico was. Te nope. Just not going to bother. Uh, but I like that he is now on the know and knows everything. Um, so that was good. And I guess that leaves us with, no, actually there's one more thing. I completely forgot <laughs> in the midst of everything that Scott actually was trying to become a veteran or a, a veteran, a veterinarian. And like just the scene with Dean was like, oh yeah, you're, you want to be a pet doctor. I. I forgot about that. So it was kind of to see that there's like still like normal 
stuff there even though with all the supernatural though I prefer the supernatural stuff over the normal stuff because normal is just it's so boring um but I guess no one Theo um he <laughs> he is evil uh I I can't say I instantly didn't like Theo because I you know last week or <laughs> it wasn't last week it was last night actually in the premiere we didn't really know him but going in tonight it's like I didn't overly like him and then Styles didn't like him which is usually a telltale if Styles doesn't like a character or someone it's usually spot on and he's right like he has been every single time mostly and that should have told you something so Theo is evil uh he can oh he can turn into a full wolf which uh we had I guess we just kind of branched that topic last season with Derek becoming a full wolf but now Theo is a full wolf as well and he's also very evil because his I, I, I would assume they're his parents or maybe they're just I don't know we're gonna call him his parents he is kind of holding them hostage and he may have broken his dad's hand with a hammer at the end of the episode he's evil but I kind of love it <laughs> It's like, I'm very, like, if a character's not, like, how it's supposed to be or something, it's like, I can't like you because I know you're going to be this certain way. And so until you turn that certain way, I can't like you. And now knowing that Liam actually really is evil, I like him. Now, if only Malia would just turn evil and I just, it'd be all great. But, um, overall, I think it was a decent episode. Uh, Tracy is, did I mention that Tracy's a vampire? Or yeah, a vampire. Ha ha ha. A werewolf now, and that was good. I didn't expect the werewolf thing to come back, and that I guess she had been becoming a werewolf all episode long or something. But that happened, and uh, yeah, I liked it. Um, I don't really have anything else to say right now. Um. It was good. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, new episode will be next week. I so what did they show in the episode? I I feel like they showed a lot. I feel like someone. I feel like there's gonna be bloodshed next week. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, if you have any theories or any comments about the episode, I'd love to hear about them. And thanks for watching.